All right, guys, today I'm going to build another local SEO tool. Let me know if you guys get ever, ever get bored of this, by the way, because I don't know if this is something of interest. It's obviously for my benefit because I'm just going to build a suite of free local SEO, SEO tools for local rank. It's good for SEO. It's good for link bait. Yeah, and, and I think it should be helpful for people just getting started. So... Yeah, that's it for the next couple of minutes. Well, 30 seconds, I'll be not eating creatine because I have a health checkup. They said not to eat anything. I was about to dry scoop some creatine. Janice is like, no, you can't do that. Well, so here we are. Uh, I'm just going to report my numbers and um, let's keep on heavy if you guys are into that. Yesterday, we did 1780 in total revenue down $400 from the day before. We have Amazon coming in at 1063. Media Vine at 118 and the adult revenue source that we don't talk about. At 602. Um, let's get on with the episode. All right, guys, sign up for the first link in the YouTube description. You guys send the URL to this sheet. Today is episode 479. Cannot believe I'm saying that. Every time I think I know how many episodes I've done, I truly don't know. 479 episode is a ridiculous amount of YouTube videos. My my pain tolerance has to be like all time high. Anyways, just sign up. Another thing is, yes, I've been shilling localrank.so a ton lately. However, it's serious today. Our discount code, launch20, is officially gone. I think we're doing tomorrow. No, we're doing Saturday. It's gone Saturday. Today is Thursday in my time. I don't know what time it is over there. Should be Thursday morning. It'll be coming up to the morning soon for you guys when you, when this video goes out. Um once again, launch 20, get in on it. So our plan for local rank for price in terms of pricing, you know, you know me, I love to play with pricing, especially if you've seen me follow along with what we did with um, the advised community. So with local rank, what we plan on doing is actually, so we're going to do, we did massive launch pricing to existing audience, normal launch pricing, and then we're going to cut it, let it run at equilibrium for like a month or so. And then we're going to start jacking up prices. Um, Mostly because the citation network costs so much capital to run that we need more capital to grow it. Um, but I think, yeah, the first movers, people who put their trust in me initially, we're, we're going to reward you and we're going to reward you real good. Anyways, so if you guys go into localrank.so, uh, we started including a free local L local SEO tools list. We got the local business schema generator. I forgot which one I did on um, on the episode. I think I did the URL checker, local schema checker. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful URL checker. So if you go like, if you want to see the redirects, go from HTTP to HTTPS. Looks good. We got a local keyword generator. If you go like roofing, roofer. We got Vancouver, we got cheap. What else we got? I don't know. Cheap, near me, obviously, include keywords without locations. Hit them with it, copy all. Let me go, let's go into Ahrefs and show you what, what's up. Roofing, roofing near me, roofing Vancouver. Cheap roofing, roofer, Vancouver. Cheap roofing near me, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You're probably thinking, Jackie, why are you creating so many of these tools and you're giving it away for free? How are you going to make money from it? If you notice, I don't know how to describe this, but our goal here isn't to monetize off of these users. It's to be like, to take up mind share of people in the local SEO space. I'd say I did a pretty good job of taking up mind space in the SEO space like general SEO scene, especially in the affiliate space. However, I didn't do a good job with the local SEO side. I want everyone, when they think of local SEO, to think of local rank. And then we're going to sell a suite of tools and services around this. And it all just starts with free local SEO tools. If they have to go to our site every day to use our tools, our hope is when they're in the market for a local rank tracker like local rank, they'll give us a shot. All right, that's it for now. Um, let me 
one shot a tool before we head out. Um, help me heard a WordPress plugin that creates um, FAQ schema in both HTML and JSON. Um, <clears throat> schema. Um, this plugin will insert this tool on pages where there is a short code. Um, front end user input will be a list of questions and answers. How many should we do? Um, they should have the ability to add as many questions and answers as possible. That should be good enough, right? Let me think what else we got. Uh, all right. Hold up one second. I had a copy and pasta, copy pasta earlier. Help me plan or code a WordPress plugin where if I insert it, help me. This plugin should create FAQ schema. Grammar doesn't matter. This plugin is essential. Okay. Front end user should be, will be, input will be list of questions and answers. They should have the ability to, Okay, that's, that should be good. Um, I'll be back when it's done. But um, yeah, you guys don't care about this. All right, so um, Grok had a couple issues actually, funny enough. I had to reprompt it a couple times, but um, it was fine. So let's plan this out. I will just keep pressing enter until this is finished, but it uh, should be pretty simple. Won't bore you guys with the details, but I will show you when it's finally done. And... Uh, yeah, should be easy peasy. I don't know what's stopping you guys from doing this. Um, what I, I was thinking I could do in the future once we start ranking on Google is add like an email form where people have to, after like two uses, they have to submit their email to um, use the tool because why not? You know what I mean? All right, so that was a one shot from Cursor. Shout out to Cursor. I am just adding it in just to see what's up. Okay, what was the short code we wanted to use was probably the readme text will tell you. I don't know if this did it. It's so annoying. Uh, so I do reprompt it. Um, that didn't do it, unfortunately. So they're fixing it up. Shouldn't be too bad, but um, keep you guys posted. Keep you guys posted. All right. So I think all I had to say was <clears throat> what did I have to say. I said. We want a tool to be utilized so we can put a schema generator short code on a page and that page will help users generate a schema in both HTML and JSON. Um, and then we just use schema generator here. Now let's see what it looks like. FAQ schema generator, JSON plus HTML. Now, short code, see what it looks like. I'm excited. I'm raw dogging this. I haven't tested anything. Let's see. Okay, okay. Um, test Q, test A, test Q, test A, two, two. Why is it not centered? I don't know. Um, Looks all right. Um, I could probably fix up the design slightly. Okay. 
when you add short code, fix up design slightly centered. Da, 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 um, active on output, i.e. HTML and JSON has bad contrast. Um, HTML output has accordion that cannot be expanded. Hmm. That's it. I'll be back when it's done. All right. So we're done now. Um, let's see what this comes up with and, uh, I'll just answer questions right afterwards. Oh yeah, nice. Looks way better. Um, test Q A one, test T A one. Another question: T Q two, T A two, and then generate schema. Accordion still doesn't work. JSON fine. Let's see the output. Copy HTML. I want to put paste it on this page and see the vibes. Um, HTML, boom, 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 preview. Fine, it's fine. I don't know why they have to show the accordion. Um, I will probably ask them to remove it, but that's all the time I have for today. Uh, in terms of questions, Tom said, love for the algo. It's great to see details and iterations. Yeah, I, I hope this was interesting. I kind of got clapped today, but it's fine. I was using free YouTube transcript scraper today and after doing like 10 videos, stop working, try to set up with something. Blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, it'll take... If I take time to ask AI, I can use Google's API for free up to a thousand, ten thousand times. Lots of opportunities if you can market it. Oh, smart, 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 smart. All right, that's all the time I have for today, guys. Oh, one thing I added actually that was pretty interesting is when I go, when I add it to the save, when I add it, the parent to tools, it automatically gets added as a new tool on the page because I programmed a shortcode to do it. And here it is. Awesome. So guys, if, if you guys have any needs for SEO tools, let me know down in the comment section and I'll build it and it'll be free because why not? Um, take it easy guys. Like the video, comment local SEO tools for the YouTube algo and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.